another episode of Weeby Reptiles. Um, this is my crusty gecko colony. I actually never did a video on them. Well, I think I did one of their enclosure and stuff, but I don't know. I guess I, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys because I uh, decided to set them up in a different setup. Before I had them in this huge enclosure, well, I had two only and I actually got three more thanks to my little sister. Donnie had uh, Naughty Dragons. You guys should check her out. She's got amazing animals. Um, but what I did is um, I made these little bins up and I had these vents from my dragon enclosures. So I just drilled out holes and put the vents in because they have screens on them. So when I put crickets in there, the crickets can't get out. But they're really good because they hold the humidity in really well. <clears throat> I also got these kind of vents, which I'm going to try to change to all of them because they flange out and they're really flush. These guys stick out a little bit. See how these look really professional and clean. I bought a bunch more. I got uh, another pack here, but um, I'm gonna show you guys real quick uh, the the cresties. And it's, you know the bins are are uh, you know pretty light. Excuse me, because they're uh, you know tubs. They're only plastic tubs. So I'm gonna show you quickly how. Uh, how these uh, enclosures came out. See, the bin only cost me five bucks, <clears throat> and then uh, the uh, vents cost me like a dollar fifty, I think. I don't remember exactly. And then I got these uh, these uh, plastic plant lives at the dollar store. I got two of them for two dollars, and then the little thing that holds them. And then I just hot glue gunned them down so they don't go anywhere. See, they're stiff. And then I put a little container in there with some nice fresh peat moss, nice and moist. So they can go in there if they're shedding, they can rub on and help themselves get out of their shed. But see my babies, here's one of them. And this is one of my girls, I believe. No, wait, that's a boy. Yeah, or girl, I'm not sure. But, uh, this is one of them. I'm not sure the morph, guys, so please forgive me on that. But, um, they do still have, oh, no, where are you going, baby girl? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's a boy for sure. Yeah. Nah. This is one of them. Hey, Papa. <laughs> I love these guys. They are so awesome. They're very springy, though. They jump. So, you gotta be careful when you handle them. Because they're very hoppy little guys. And here's one of them. Let's see if we put them back on the leaf. There he goes. Yeah, buddy. But yeah, that's my guys. Um, that's one of them, actually. <laughs> Let me go ahead and probably show you another one real quick. I want to show you guys the new ones. The new ones are my favorite. I love to see. And with like one hand, all I gotta do is bring them up and bam, bring them up and put them up top. This is one of my favorites from my little sister. She got me. She gave me. Two male Dalmatians and uh, a male fire red. Like right now, he's like a pinkish with like these really crazy neon green like pinstripes on him. Really awesome. <clears throat> Another one. This one I'm gonna put the vents on. This was my first attempt and really wasn't comfortable with that. So I'm gonna make another one. That's why I have this package here so I can make the vents and get another tub. But this is one of the Dal Dalmatians. Look at this guy. He's gorgeous. Very, very, very gentle and nice. Doesn't do a lot of hopping, but has those awesome spots. Look at that belly. Fat boy. Look at this. Oh, yes. I love those feet. Look at those fat feet. They're very soft. They have scales, but they're very soft and they have these awesome eyelashes and Little tiny itty bitty spikes, but those spikes are very gentle. They don't really hurt at all. Look, see how they, <clears throat> they're like whiskers more than spikes, but he's a sweetheart. And what you want to do is you put them in your, their little enclosure. And what you do is to care for these guys. These guys are probably the easiest reptile to care for, hands down. Look at the, the bin. The bin doesn't require any UV, any uh, heat or anything. You just mist them down two times a day to make sure they get in plenty of humidity and they'll just lick that off the glass. I'm sorry, Bubba, come back up. He fell back. There we go, buddy. There we go. But those are my looking little guys. 
They have no eyelids, so they'll never blink. Their eyes are always open, even while they're sleeping. And what they do for moisture is they'll lick their eyeballs. See the little tongue? So cute. There he goes, get it. See, now he's just drinking the water off himself. You might get the eyeball lick. There it is. Come on, buddy, give him the lick. They're so beautiful. They have these cool eyes. I mean, the eyes are like, you see a bunch of vein, vein action going on. It's like you see every detail. If I can get, there it is. Look at those eyes. Sorry about the shaking, guys. Hold on. Yeah, look at those eyes. So beautiful. I love how the water drips. They look on them when they're, the flash catches it. Such pretty animals. And this is one of my boys. And uh, I think I, I'm gonna show you the fire guy. They also have, those tails are very sensitive, so you gotta be careful with them. You don't wanna be very rough with them because the tails can fall off for any reason whatsoever. I mean, they're not very sturdy on there. Let me get this guy over here. This is the little fire guy I was telling you guys about. See, he's got these really awesome, like, um, highlight yellow markings on his back. Can you see it? See how bright those markings are on the back? I love this one. He's so beautiful. And he's like a peach color, but he fires up. You know, he'll turn like a nice bright red on the sides and stuff like that. And I got this one. He got a little bit of a girly setup. <laughs> he got the pink flowers. But that's what they had at the dollar store, and I don't really think he cares. So you just go in there and you mist them down. Make sure it's nice and moist in there all the time. Because that's how they drink. They'll lick the walls, the leaves, and stuff like that. That's how they drink. And humidity is a big deal for them, so... What I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to get them a uh, shelf, two shelf systems, or three in my room. And since, like I said, they don't require no heat or nothing like that, right now they're just up there. But uh, I'll put them like on shelves inside my room once I'm done. But um, yeah, that's my calling again. Um, I mean, come on, let me actually, look, look. I have it on. Oh, I can't see it, but he's in there somewhere. Oh, there he goes. Ah. I love these guys. Here's my other one. I might as well just show you all of them, right guys? It's not a colony video unless you see them all. Okay, so I showed you three. There's four. <clears throat> this one was, this one for sure is my girl. Let me see. There she is. And she's a little fatty. She eats and eats and eats. Give her a little misting. Same kind of setup, you know, really simple, but they like it. It works well for them, so. Let me see if I got you. Look at that. Look, I love those spots. I love how the water drips. <clears throat> Look once the uh, flash picks them up. So beautiful. And that's my girl. I'm going to have her breed with one of these guys. More than likely the Dalmatian. Or maybe the fire. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah. He's a pretty one. Let me see. There we go. All right. That's my only girl. <clears throat> With Cresties, it's not. It's kind of hard because you really can't sex them until they're a good size. And by that time, you know you're not gonna get rid of them because you like them. Now this is gonna be my only frog butt one. They call them frog butts. Or <laughs> see the little tea bagging he's doing. <laughs> But uh, this is a frog, but he's also a male, of course. Like I said, I got four males and a female. And uh, <clears throat> this is a Dalmatian as well. He's got some really cool spots. Look at that fatty. <laughs> he's such a chubber. And like I said, this guy here, his tail did fall off. Like I told you, it's not uncommon, but it happens. See a little, call it a frog butt or, or, uh, or, uh, I don't even know what the nicknames are, because like I said, I'm not really very familiar with them, but he got a very boy, boyish kind of enclosure. Not a lot of pretty colored flowers, just 
good manly enclosure. <laughs> He's the pretty thing in here. He's the pretty flower. Through all this ugliness. Look at him. He is beautiful. Such a little fat head. Still settling in because he hasn't done a lot of movement and that's kind of awkward, but uh, that's fine. I know they're just adjusting. But that's them, guys. That's the colony. Um, I'll do more updates on them when I'm done with the shelf and stuff. And uh, I'll show you guys how it's all finished up with all the vents on them and uh, how they'll look, you know, as they're getting bigger. And hopefully if I breed my girl, I'll have some babies available. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video and my colony. Leave your comments and concerns. Bye, guys.